If you've traveled to Korea, you've probably tasted kimchi, a popular dish made with fermented vegetables. According to recent research, probiotics derived from kimchi not only induce new hair growth, but also increase the diameter of existing hair shafts. And they achieve this in as little as one month. But exactly how true is this? Well, you'll find out shortly. Hey guys, Leon here from HairGod.com, where people who are worried about their hair loss go to regrow their hair. Now, just before we get into this video, we've recently put together a hair nutrition plan. You get 21 delicious recipes designed specifically for faster, stronger hair growth. The meals are loaded with nutrients like biotin, zinc, and collagen to make hair as thick and strong as possible. It's available for free if you click the link in the description and you'll get those recipes sent instantly to your inbox. So click the link in the description to get those recipes now. Kimchi is a traditional Korean dish made from a variety of fermented vegetables, including Napa cabbage, green onion, ginger, and carrots. It's very simple to make and can be prepared in practically endless numbers of ways. It is typically served as a side dish. Kimchi is rich in vitamins, minerals, and fibers, and has been studied for its protective effect in a variety of health conditions. The fermentation process means that kimchi is also rich in probiotic bacteria, with similar potential health benefits to what you'd get from a dairy probiotic. If you're a regular viewer of this channel, you might remember our previous videos on the potential hair loss benefits of Lactobacillus ruteri. I have links to those videos in the description below. So the idea that probiotics promote hair growth is not new. And to the, add to the excitement of probiotics as a potential hair loss supplement, this past January, we've got this paper out of, you guessed it, Korea. The subjects in the trial were 23 men and 23 women with mild to severe androgenetic alopecia. The experiment treatment was a commercial probiotic product with strains derived from Korean kimchi, as well as a Korean soybean paste called Cheongkuk Yang. The subjects received 80 milligrams of this probiotic supplement twice per day, in the morning and the evening. The efficacy of the treatment was assessed in two different ways. First, there were hair counts under magnification in five selected parts of the head. Secondly, the hair thickness of selected hair shafts was also recorded under magnification. The hair count and hair thickness were measured at the start of the study and then at one and four months later. There was no placebo arm and the study wasn't blinded. In other words, it wasn't the highest quality study design. So guys, let's have a look at the results. So guys, I'm going to focus on the male results from the study, but they are very similar to the female results. One month into treatment, the large majority of men were already seeing improvements. 52% had improved in terms of both hair counts and hair thickness, and 39% had improved thickness only. The remaining 9% had no improvement. So you had essentially 91% of men responding positively to treatment, either through increased hair counts or increased thickness or both. Four months into treatment, this response rate had climbed even higher to 96%. Across all men, the hair counts increased from an average of 86.9 hairs per centimeter squared at the start of the trial to 90.7 hairs at the end of the study, a 4.5% increase. The average hair thickness also increased by 8.6%, which is certainly more impressive than the small increase in hair counts. As I mentioned, the results for women were very similar, if not slightly better. After four months, the women saw an average of 8.5% increase in hair counts and around 9% increase in hair thickness. Now, to be honest, these results do appear very encouraging, but we were troubled by only one thing. The fact that after only one month, around 90% of men saw some form or another of improvement, be it hair counts or hair thickness alone or a combination of the two. Sure, the differences weren't massive, but they were in the direction of improvement for more than nine out of every 10 men. This is not how we normally see hair regrowth in response to treatment interventions. As we've explained in other videos, it takes time to see any kind of results from a hair loss treatment be it pharmaceutical, natural, lifestyle, or whatever. Three months is generally the minimum amount of time required to see notable changes. After only one month of treatment, you can't really expect to see any positive results. If anything, there's a good chance that after one month, your hair will be slightly worse off even if the treatment is working. This is because many of the hairs that were stuck in telogen will fall off in preparation for a new cycle of amagen hair growth. So you're actually likely to have lower hair counts at the one month mark, even if the treatment is really working. 
Guys, how would you explain this curious result of the kimchi study? Is there something that we've missed? Let us know in the comments below. So what's our verdict? Now guys, I hate to be harsh here, but I have to call it like I see it. To put it mildly, I wasn't happy with the quality of this paper. Starting from the introduction, you get the impression that the authors aren't particularly well versed in androgenetic alopecia. For example, though the study is on androgenetic alopecia, a large part of the introduction cites literature from studies on alopecia areata. This is a completely different type of hair loss. Also, many of the references used in the paper are quite frankly bizarre. The authors cite them to make a point, but then when you look at the reference, it actually talks about something different. Adding to that, the statistical methods used and the way that the results were presented was simplistic or flat out inadequate. It was the kind of statistical analysis that we'd expect from an undergraduate student, not a professional researcher. So when you consider the overall low quality of the paper, along with the very unusual results, it's kind of hard to be confident in this research. For this reason, we're going to give kimchi a thumb down for hair loss. But we are very open-minded, so let us know if you've tried kimchi and it's worked for you, let us know in the comments section. Now, the paper is open access and I've linked to it in the description below, so you can read it for yourself if you are interested. For what it's worth, I should also mention that the study was financially supported by the company that owns the right to the probiotic supplement. And guys, if you want to learn more about Will's eight steps that he used to reverse his hair loss and the truth about male pattern baldness, you can click the videos on the screen right now.